What's that? Tim Salmon. Nice FX card. Look at that. Ooh, got that little picture there. That's sweet. Very nice FX card. Ooh. I'm liking that. Got to be extra super duper careful with that. Hey there, y'all. Bunkle here. I hope you've been having a great day. I hope every day is a blessed day for you and y'all. So I got here a stack of packs. There's six packs of these. Now, these are Upper Deck SP. Ooh. Different uh, insert cards can be found in here. Platinum Power. Look for exclusive special FX insert cards featuring hollow view photography. And uh, now this, this was part of one of the, I guess, what they called premium, super premium cards. And uh, one superb foil insert card in every pack. Now, these super, uber premium cards, they were like kind of sort of sought out by collectors at, at that time. They were definitely higher priced and higher quality and all of that. Uh, unfortunately, not many great rookies. I mean, the inserts, yeah, uh, I, I would say over the test of time, it's been found out that these were, yeah, they were premium cards, great looking cards, great looking pictures and all of that, but... And definitely some all-time greats, but not exactly what they were cranked up to be. Anyway, let's get ripping some packs here. Enough with me talking stuff. All right, let's see what's in these packs. All right, I'm going to need my knife because this is that the typical upper deck, like, foil wrapper pack with all of the, you know, technology and stuff that they made so that it couldn't be seen through or opened. And it was going to definitely be a surprise and... You know, they when Upper Deck started in 1989, that was their whole shtick. You know, still going to be the most premium cards that there were. They, they were definitely a step up. All right, now we got nice Cal Ripken Jr. starting us off. Sweet Cal there. And that's Baltimore Orioles. Look at that. Very nice. See, die cut card. Awesome sauce there. Big SP logo down at the bottom. That's going to get frappered up. All right, our first super premium card. Well, second super premium card, but the first, like, regular card. Now, I've been looking into these, and they have different colorizations. Uh, some have, like, a red version, a blue version, and a gold version. So, something to look out for. Got Jose Valentin. Moose! Mike Musina. Now, it looks like, yeah, he's pitching in, like, wraparound shades. Pretty cool. Nice picture there. Okay, who we got next? We got Terry Steinbeck, Reggie Sanders. Very cool. Great looking card there. Shane Andrews, Dave Winfield. Nice. And Darren Dalton. All right. We got a couple to frap her up. Got three. Got three Hall of Famers in one pack. I mean, now that right there is... Just shows that, yeah, all-time greats were definitely in these because they were playing then still. I mean, I we, we might think we know who the all-time greats that are playing right now are, but you know what? That, you know, you can't exactly know until after their careers, like, getting wrapped up. Like Manny Machado, for example, he'll go down as a, as a great. Max Scherzer, Verlander, yes, they will, definitely. Others, you, you don't know. I mean, they're lining up to be, but anything can possibly happen. I mean, I, I like... Uh, lots of players, but you got to wonder how, if they're going to be really sticking around and if they're going to be able to stick around for all those years. I mean, I'm hearing a lot of bad talk about Vladdy Guerrero Jr. And, uh, I mean, tons of potential, but not exactly living up to it. And Bo Bichette, similar. So it's kind of odd. I mean, those, those were hot, like, rookies in second year and third year. But, eh, you know, they started to fade off. And could just be that, you know, where they're playing, uh, they're, they're tired of it, but. You know, they're not going anywhere except for personal awards. All right, we got the checklist. Celebrate the checklist with Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer there. Alan Trammell. That looks like he hit that one. Well, that's a very, very warped bat and ball. Okay, seeing Carlos Baerga. Jeter, nice. Awesome Jeter card. Look at that. That is nice. Have not seen the Jeter yet from these. Very, very cool. Now, of course, not his rookie, but 
still great. It's it's SP did that 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 one ninety three, if I'm not mistaken. That's like worth like trillions of dollars or something. Got Jason Bates, Derek Bell. Maybe I'm exaggerating by a few dollars. Got Bagwell and Matt Williams. But the the ninety three it is Jeter SP that that's highly sought after. Now. I, this one right here is kind of sought after by me because I don't think I have that one in my collection yet. So I'm definitely going to frap with that. And I, I think he's going to get a top loady early enough in his career that, you know, he's he was not a full-time major leaguer yet. It was kind of like up and down. Still not sure that he was going to make it. So, I mean, when, the, when this was put out, remember, this was like talking about the 94 season. So this is pre-strike and all of that. And, uh, yeah, uh, didn't know if he was going to. Is a pre-strike or post? Uh, it's somewhere right near the big strike. All right, let's get this next pack open, see what we got in this one. Jeter was a nice hit. Very happy with that. Still haven't found any of the, like, limited edition stuff here. Well, the... The die cut ones, of course, but I think all the checklists might be. Let's see what else we got in here. Now, there's a superba foil card in every pack, but I haven't. I'm getting, you see, it says it there. One superba foil insert in every pack. I'm not sure which one was the superba foil in any of these, but it says that they're in here. Maybe that maybe it's the silver ones. I'm not sure. I'm not seeing anything that looks superb off oil. Maybe it's silver. Could be. Now that's a superb off oil. Very nice there. Premier Prospects C.J. Nitkowski. Yeah, now C.J. Notkowski. I'll put him up anyway, but didn't really go anywhere much. All right, we got Dave Winfield again. Aaron Seeley. Alex Gonzalez. Randy Myers, Craig Biggio, nice. Put him up. Ricky, nice Ricky there. Sweet. See, he again, his his in-action cards. I, I said it before in a couple videos. His action cards are definitely like they capture the essence of the game. I mean, he's whether it's running or fielding or 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 hitting. I mean, he was just everywhere. Great stuff there. I'm gonna top loady that one also. Not that, you know, maybe maybe I should be top loading a couple of the other ones. Now I didn't look up PSA values on these before ripping them. Maybe I should have. I don't know. But oh, why did I put that over there? Okay, there we go. And then Dave Winfield one more time. Dave Winfield got doubled up on the Daves. All right, let's get this next pack up and going. We got one, two, three. Well, about four left after this. What did I grab? Eight of them, maybe. I don't know. Thought I grabbed six. So I got this box on the shelf, so I just grabbed a stack of packs. Maybe I was supposed to open a couple of these as shorts. I don't know. Could be. I don't remember. One of y'all could remind me sometime. All right, let's see what we got here. And whoa, ooh, shiny. Ruben Rivera, well, okay. Not exactly great. I mean, he had he was with the Yanks for a little bit. He's Mariano's uh cousin or nephew or something, and there was some kind of incident in the clubhouse where he was like taking something or he made somebody else's property disappear. Don Mattingly, all right, nice Donnie baseball there. Jason Barr Barry. Ooh, nice. Randy Johnson. All right, another Hall of Famer. So, yeah, like I say, lots of Hall of Famers and Terry Pendleton. So, Brett Saberhagen with the Mets, he's there. Ozzie Smith. Looks like he may have missed that one. He's going to make it disappear somewhere. Ken Caminiti. All right, we got some more cards to frap her up here. Got the Wizard of Oz bobbling the ball there. Got Randy Johnson, great pitcher. He's there with his Seattle 
uniform on with the Mariners at that time. Still somewhat early in his career. Not very, very early, of course. His rookie card was in 89. So, you know, we were five, six years in now. All right, Donnie Baseball. Awesome sauce there. All right, what's in our next pack here? All right, who we got there? We got Mark Grudy, Grudy something, okay. Now, I don't know if all that marking is supposed to be on the card or if that's just like scuffing, but I'm kind of glad because it's, it's not a somebody. Got Wally World, Tim Naring, Pudge. All right, nice Pudge card there. Sammy Sosa. I, you know what? I, I'm hesitating. Should I put it or should I not? Should I put it or should I? I'm not going to put them up. Ramon Martinez. I got too much on my wall of fame already. How sad. John Burkett and Charlie Hayes. He looks really happy to be here today. All right. Got the Pudge. Nice Pudge Rodriguez there. All right, we got three packs left. That Jeter right there is awesome to me. The Henderson is great. Maybe we'll find something else like that. Could be. Could be. I mean, we got two of the die cut cards in the first two packs, and then we haven't seen one since. So you never know what you're going to find. There's surprise packs. I mean, kind of. It'd be more of a surprise pack if it had different years in there, too, but then they take out the good stuff. All right. Who's this superb foil? Ray Durham. Okay. Chicago White Sox prospects. Uh, you know what? I'll put it up because it's a cool die cut. Rick Aguilera. Mo Vaughn. Time to move on, Mo Vaughn. Jay Buhner. Ooh, we got we got a platinum power coming up there. Jeff Conine and platinum power Mo Vaughn. Time to move on, Mo Vaughn. Four multi home run games. All right, very cool card there. Whoop, who did I drop? That's Juan Acevedo, Premier Prospects. Nice shiny card. Very cool. That's a tough find. It would be better if it was, you know, somebody who was somebody. And Heathcliff Slocum. Right, let's get the platy power into a frappy power. Alright, what's in our next pack? These are definitely cool. I'm glad I got my grubby hands on this box of these. And I'm able to open these packs. Because I know I didn't open them in 95. They were too rich for my blood. It's funny that, you know, over the years you'd think that values on packs would go up from what they were originally. No, nah, that doesn't always happen. And then these, now nope, did not happen for sure. All right, Antonio Osuna. Yeah, you know, I'm going to make him sit, even if he's a die cut. Jeff Montgomery, what's that? What's that? Tim Salmon, nice FX card. Look at that. Ooh, got that little picture there. That's sweet. Very nice FX card. Ooh. I'm liking that. Gotta be extra super duper careful with that. Pat Henschen, Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer, Platinum Power Bagwell. Shout out to the Astros fans. Tony Tarasco and Ozzie Smith again, bobbling that ball one more time. All right, let's get that frappered up. You know, I'm going to make Ray Durham sit. You sit down. Got the bag well. Oh, no falling down on the job right now, Ozzie. You would not be a wizard if you fall down. Nope. You might go back to the Waverly Place places. All right. We got the Glavin going up. And Tim Salmon. I'll have the Salmon, please. There you go. Very nice. And I'm going to put that one in a top loadie also. That's just a sharp-looking car with that little, like, like 
photo, extra photo in there and all the gloss and the shine. See, now I'm going to have to find out what those run for as far as a PSA card. PSA 9 or 10, because that might be flippable. I'm not the biggest Tim Salmon collector, but I, there definitely might be somebody out there that will be interested in it. I'll take a look-see later. All right, we're down to our last pack here. This is where I say thank all y'all for subscribing and commenting and thumbs upping and all of that. I appreciate all y'all, that's for sure. I have fun doing this. I hope y'all have fun going through these with me. We've got Freddie Garcia, Kevin Tappany, Chili Dog Davis, I know the Hall of Famer in Eck. Got Dennis Eckersley getting real fired up about this game. Put that on top of the frapper pack. Jose Rijo, Bobby Bonilla. I was reading. Yeah, the Mets are still paying him, and he makes more than several major leaguers right now, which is pretty funny, being that he's, like, retired 20-something years. Okay, we got ourselves another Tim Salmon. Not the not the same one that we got over there, but this is a different Tim Salmon. That's pretty cool. And Scott Cooper. Pooper Scooper Cooper. No, that would be Cecil Cooper. All right, you know what? This Tim Salmon's going to sit... And where'd my frapper pack? Oh, I can't find my frapper pack because Dennis Eckersley is hiding it. All right, so very cool. I mean, these are definitely some really great looking cards. I, You know what? They are super duper premium. And I, uh, to me, the, getting the FX, the Salmon FX, I was great. The Ricky Henderson and the early Derek Jeter. That, that's a sweet looking card right there. That, that, that's got to take that one under the scope later and check that one out. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bunkle out.